Oh, do we also need the cat potion here? We might. I think we might. Poor son of a bitch. He almost got away. Oh, there's a dead person right next to me. Whoops. Here we go. Poisoned Harpy Claw. If we're expecting monsters... I think I heard something. Yeah. Jesus! It's a lot of stuff. Remember, rock fiends, we gotta get away from them. Oh! Yo! It's a lot of stuff here. Get away, get away, get away. Oh! Ooh. Damn carrier. That was close. What was that? Necrophages. With this many appearing, they must have a nest nearby. Yeah, we just got some knowledge Come about necrophages. On. Show yourselves! I'll let you taste my axe! Oh, you're making them shit bricks. Even then, they'd stink less than you. <laughs> Damn it. Grab your weapons. Oh, our back is exposed. This is not good. There we go. Let's keep going before my potions run out. We should turn that on. Yeah. We should turn all of them on. All that we see. That's going to be a good indication of where we've been and where we haven't been, too. Hello? There's a greater rot fiend here. The miners tried to collapse this passage. I wonder what's down below. Maybe some shit-filled necrophage cesspit. Hey, gentlemen, let's focus on finding a dwarven immortality. I think we should focus on fighting the guys in front of us first, but you do you, Geralt. Oh, I wanted to turn this on. We good? It's a dead end here. Necrophage stuff. I'll take it, but... I wouldn't mind a drink about now. <laughs> Maybe not right now, gentlemen. Let's, uh, let's focus on getting out of here. So this path is blocked. Yup, pretty much. We gotta backtrack a little bit. Ooh, all the lights we turned on. They're kind of bright with the cat potion. A little bit too bright. So we've been here. That's why we've turned them on. Oh. Key required. I want to fuck. I what? Want to Where's my wife? Sorry, go. Are you writing poems? Uh, I guess that's, a, that's an okay poem. Not one I would write, but... Uh, you do you! One more path here. And behind us, there is that closed path with the key that we need. Anyone want to come out? I knew you guys want to come out. There you go. Maybe I should be looking into barrels and stuff, because if we find Dwarven Immortals, that. that's where it's going to be, right? Get away. Oh, wait. We have a chest here. Orins. Not quite what we're looking for. Turn this one on. And we'll go this way. Key required. Okay, fine. This way. It's also a dead end. Not much going on here overall. Another locked way. Oh man. I hate these mines. Really hate them. 
Okay, we took a left when there was a split. So if we come back here, there should be another way. Mm -hmm. Are my dwarven friends gonna come help me? Too little too late! The other guy. Oh no, my cat potion's already out. Dang. Oh, are you dying? Well, at least we were lighting some of the paths along the way, but this is gonna be a little bit difficult if we don't take another cat potion. Is it just another. Oh, silver ore. Diagram red meteorite silver sword. That could be good. The one I'm using right now is 18 to 26. This is 18 to 24. <laughs> it's actually worse. Okay. Well, this is not quite what we're looking for. No dwarven immortals. Have we missed something? Because we haven't seen any keys either. Are we done? What's oh, somewhere there? But both of these paths were. Oh, maybe there's a... Was that locked, though? Because all of the paths we've been to so far seem to be... Dead ends. What about here? Oh, I think we should take another... Cat potion. Yeah, because... It makes... This darkness makes everything so much harder. Oh, here? Yeah, we haven't been here. And you can tell because no lights. Let's take another cap ocean. If we have another one, which we do. Sorry, guys. <laughs> More of these guys here. Oh. Come one come all. Now we learned all about necrophages. And my friends aren't here for whatever reason. I'm counting on you guys to recognize the Immortel, okay? Because you guys are the dwarves. Hey. Another dead person here. gone. Now you guys are here? Really? Superb heavy leather trousers. Superb heavy leather trousers. Better than what we have. Maybe I can cut the necrophages off. Upper shaft key. Balance first map, balance journal. Collapse the breaches using beehives. Okay, we got one key. If I could only remember where the key entrances were. Foreman Balan, the first fragment. Work is going as planned. It seems our yield will be even greater than anticipated. Moreover, I believe we can squeeze much more from this mine. We'll delve deeper, bring up more wealth, and Vergen will regain its past significance. Plan of the first... Ah, okay. That's really cool and all, but okay, hold on. Let me just take a picture of this. And I'm gonna compare it to the map that we have here. Yeah, it's the same map. It's the same map. There was a treasure here. Uh, I guess the area that the key opens is around here. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell. But hold on. We're trying to find the Immortel, but at the same time, we can collapse the breaches using beehives. He quickly discovered that the miners had delved too deep and had broken through to ancient tunnels carved by creatures never meant to see the light of day. The creatures were entering the mines through fissures in the rock, and Geralt decided to collapse these breaches using bombs known as beehives. Can we make those? 
fissures in the rock. Like, do you want me to? Right. Oh. That should do it. Very clearly, I had the bomb already. Great. Does that mean that we also have to go back to the other places to... How many are there? One of three. One of three. Maybe we'll be okay without the swallow potion for now. I'm gonna go in here and check if we can collapse this side. Because, oh, I hate that we found that last. Because now we gotta backtrack into these places to see if we can collapse them. I mean, it's not too big of a deal, but... Eh. No. Do we even have more beehive bombs? Bombs... Bombs. No. So the next time I take a cat potion, I'm gonna make more. Collapse the breaches. What about this side? Oh. That's always helpful. Well, I don't think there's anything here. Clearly a dead end, but... Um... Oh, what about the key? Does it open this? No! No! Dang it! And... No collapsible thing to break here. Or uh, nothing to collapse, I should say. How are things, Geralt? Horrible. Especially with you guys being very helpful here. Yeah, there's nothing here. Mm, I'm not gonna light this one, because that signifies that we haven't been through that door yet. I mean, not that we can really tell with the cat potion and all, but... <laughs> Hopefully, future me will be able to figure it out. Where is it on the map? Mm, okay, so there's a key here. A key location. Now we go back this way and hope that the key opens one of those places. Oh, I hate the mines. I really hate this place. We have two tasks here. We gotta find the Dwarven Immortel as well as... Ooh. As well as collapse the breach. Oh, have we not been here before? It's not lit. No, I just forgot to light it, I think. Ah, okay, so this is what the key opened. What's that sound? Oh, just you guys. Thank God. Ooh. We don't got a swallow potion right now. Gotta be a little bit careful. Wonder how many more will turn up. Like this. And here it is a dead end. <laughs> what was that key for then? A dead end? That seems not right. No! It enables us to go another way. Here. Which is lit already? Wait, did I just go back the way I came from, or...? Yeah, I think I might have. Okay, hold on. There's gotta be a different way here, right? We come in here. Oh, what?! You just came out of the ground? Are we doing that now? Okay. Is that a trap door here or what am I missing? No, if I just look on the map here, there's this way and there's also a this... Okay, so maybe this way is the way I'm going. Yeah, I think so. If only I could see. Okay, okay, we need it. Cat potion. And we also need to make Beehive bombs? What? There's no bomb called beehive here. Do we just not have it? Uh, maybe other bombs also work? 
Because I know the grape shot. That was the one that we used to collapse a necker nest, right? Maybe I'll make some of these and hope that it's the right one. Okay, cool. <laughs> While we're here, make some swallow potions. Just three. We don't have very many things here. Cats? Drink. Cats. I think we're okay on the swallow potion. It's just neckers. Not neckers, rot beans. Now we have two ways again. This way is just a little pocket. With... Goods. Lots of goods. That I'll blindly take, because we can. And then this way... Should move us forward. Okay. I can hear them. Things could get hot. Yeah. Is that a collapsible thing here, or...? Hmm. Yup. So there's this way here. And then beyond that, we have... this area. Another dead person. Oh! Oh, that Igni does like nothing so far because we haven't upgraded it yet. Ooh! Hey! Be careful! Be careful! Be careful! Oh, I've been poisoned a little bit. Whoa, look at my health actually. I think we need the Swallow Potion after all. <laughs> yeah. Middle Shaft Keep, Balance Second Map, Journal 2. This morning we discovered small slits in the tunnel walls. The cracks don't seem to be dangerous, but I ordered additional wooden supports placed just to be sure. Rudolf Ferdinand is spluttering. I think he does not enjoy the temperature at this depth. Old Nain Zamenhof claims to hear knocking. I bet he's finally flipped for good. I think we're getting close to a large load, and I've sent for a geologist. Hmm, I think instead of minerals, they're probably finding monsters down here. Second map. Uh, okay, well, let me take a picture of this one again. And I will compare it with what we're seeing right now. The way they made it makes it seem like... Yeah, this is what we're seeing. And we keep going this way to go further. They make it seem like this guy's Balin because we find a journal on him. But then it's like... Why is his journal on multiple different people? <laughs> okay, we go this way. We gotta go back. But before that, could we collapse something here, or...? Yes, I think so. Okay, well, it seems like the grape shot bomb also works. Which is wonderful to hear. Now that we've got that out of the way, we go back... the other way. Oh, my health is not doing too good right now. Am I okay? Probably not. Why take the risk, right? We don't have to. It's just kind of annoying because this whole process of drinking a potion is slow. We gotta watch this animation over and over again. <laughs> Especially because the cat potion is done in two minutes. So in two minutes time, we'll have to do it again. This side. The key. Ooh. We got a bigger open area with some culty looking stuff that we'll look at once we deal with these people. Get away. What's going on here? Something? Gone. Get the last guy, guys. Get 
There you go. Here. We can continue forward, or we can have a look around at what this is. Just a random- it's that lady again! <laughs> Just a random offering statue, or like what? We're definitely not the first one here. So now, the path splits down into two ways again. Seems like this way is a dead end, just according to the map. Okay, well, we'll go down this one first then. Maybe more collapsible tunnel pieces, maps. Yup, look at that. Third map, lower shaft key. Monsters! Monsters everywhere! The legends were true. It's Durin's bane. Too deep, we delved and awoke a nameless fear. This is all my fault, so I must try to stop the beasts myself. Fly, you fools! Yeah, monsters. Third map. Do we actually need this? I'll keep it in mind, but I think we're okay without it. Weapons. Oars. Nice. Lots of stuff. Okay, but this is a dead end. If we go this way, probably the third... Nope. Not just yet. Fine. We go back the other way. Now our cat potion is gonna run out soon. Mm -hmm. If we go back here, then we can go this way. Oh, crap. Oh! Already cannot see anything immediately. There's a cart here. Oh, I really can't see anything. This is so frustrating. Well, we can kind of make it out. Who's holding a lantern? Is somebody holding anything? We can go this way. Which is... Well, actually, both of them are dead ends. One of these must be the Immortelle thing, and the other one must be a collapsible tunnel. What? Oh, what? Okay, I think we gotta... we gotta do the cat potion again. Why are there traps here? I almost stepped into one just now. There's apparently a trap right next to the... Yeah, there's multiple. Be careful, guys. There's a lot here. Just don't step on it, okay? Just go around it. Oh! Hey, guys! <laughs> You're breaking my immersion! Careful. Somebody must not want us to find something here. Or maybe it's the miners trying to not let the monsters escape from this place. Just one more here. So again, two ways. This way is a small dead end with no traps. And also nothing. A little pocket here. Okay. Here, whoa! We're probably wasting time by disarming all of them. But it's for our own good, because when we walk back, we can run. Why is there so many? Holy crap. Oh. We should get together for a good libation. Libation? One last one. Something good's gotta be here. Oh no! 
Oh! Oh, there's more. There's more. Whoa! There's a lot more. Maybe he was... Before he died, he put down a bunch of traps hoping that he wouldn't die. Yeah, we're not actually getting hurt by these traps at all. So we don't have to worry too much. Not at all. Storehouse key. Journal 4. I, Balin Ferguson, record these words in the event that I should die, for I wish to be recognized by name. It is the fourth day since I hid in this branch of the shaft. Separated from the monsters by traps, I am safe. But how long will I survive without water? I have the key to the storeroom and can think of nothing else than to sneak there quietly to get provisions. Reason, however, tells me that the storeroom is too far and I won't be able to make it. The monsters are trying to reach me again, so I have to wait anyway. Later, when I'm desperate, who knows? Again, it's kind of weird that like, <laughs> the everybody, four different people have pieces of the journal, but okay. Hey! Hey! Please. Yeah, there's not much else here. It's just this dead guy. Ow. But we got the key for the storeroom. Which has provisions? We can't collapse anything here. There is just this machine. For mining. For mining, of course. Yeah, look at that. Now we can run. Quite well. Oh! We missed one in the beginning. Back this way, we can go here. Not a good sound. What was that? What was that? Provisions? Mm, medallion's telling me something. Golem? Something? Anything? Oh, there we go. Maybe a bolivar. Yeah, don't let me save. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. Oh, not with those other guys here too. Too many different guys. Get rid of the smaller ones first. The last one! The last Rafine! Guys! Now we can go face this guy. Oh! Oh, we're too far! Oh! Seems it was the last one. Let's grab what we need and get out of here. Yes. Yes, I agree. Can we go? If you guys would stop blocking me. Dwarven Immortal. Grab all of them. It's all of them, because we're not coming back here. <laughs> Superb studded leather trousers. Not better than what we have, but we'll take it. A lot of dead people here, so they've seen these Dwarven Immortals already. Where is the third collapsible tunnel thing? Maybe it's in the other branches, because I know we're not done yet. No. Well, might as well stick around for a little bit longer. Oh, I'm gonna get like toxic shock syndrome or something. Taking way too many potions here. Way too many cat potions. I wish it were possible to make it so that the duration of potions would be like modifiable. Like for example, with another potion. Not here. 
No, not as much as I would love to. We're not done just yet. Damn! Why do we dwarves always have to unearth shit? Remember the Mahakam crisis in twelve twenty nine? Sure, bloody bunglers cut through to the only underground lake beneath Mount Carbon. When water burst from the wall, it took two hundred men with it. They drowned, then rotted, causing a plague that killed two thousand more miners and their families. Ore mining collapsed. Four years we lived hand to mouth in Mahakam. You know your mining, Zoltan. I've worked here and there, even wanted to open my own mine, but you need no small means for that. Oh no, I have a bad feeling. We've been everywhere, but we must have missed the third collapsible tunnel entrance somewhere, because I don't see it. <laughs> Alright, hold on, let me have a look around. Again. Oh, it was right here! It was right next to the Dwarven Immortals! Ah, now, now my punishment is... <laughs> I probably gotta walk back by myself. Yeah. So if I had noticed that earlier, then right here, it would have prompted me. Hey, do you want to just go back up to the surface? But nope, since I since I missed it the first time around, it's not gonna tell me, and I gotta... I gotta walk back by myself. We've made it out! Right, get out. Looks like it's all over. Thanks for your help, Zoltan. Say nothing of it. Enough yapping. Time for some vodka. First, I want to see if my fuck date's still waiting. Just don't strain yourself. It takes energy to drink with us too, you know. With your wife? <laughs> um, Cecil is not part of the people here, but do you guys want to arm wrestle? Who's this, my failing eye spy? Geralt of Rivia visiting old Yarpen Zegrin. Zoltan claims you can arm wrestle like no one else. He's right. Did he tell you I beat him? Omitted that bit somehow. Old fart. Want to wrestle me? I'm ready for your challenge always. So? Show me what you got. Alright. Whoa! We've somehow teleported to somebody's house or something. No audience. No music. <laughs> Very private match. That's some training you received at Care Morhen. You're no wimp yourself. <laughs> now we're back outside again. Oh, but everyone else has left. The other guy. I need the other guy, too. Getting anywhere with the new recruits? Like holes in a brothel. They're plowing away at full speed. Sarsky's army's full of men better at holding their pricks than a weapon. But Zoltan and I are helping them catch up. Most importantly, they don't lack spirit. They won't defeat Hensel's regulars with zeal alone. Ah, uh, we'll show you what an army facing either victory or death is capable of. For we've no other choice, Geralt. I've been trying to figure out what Philippa Eilhart's doing in all this mess. Uh, same thing as always. Conspiring until she gets her pubes in a knot. <sighs> I know you hate sorceresses, but try to put your animosity aside. Oh, we hate them. That's a fact. But why do you think that is? It's not because of their secret knowledge of their nice tits. Their hearts are full of dung, Geralt. Mark my words. You exaggerate. Ah, uh, maybe not all of them. But Isle Heart's the worst. Need I remind you how she peddled her ass to Dijkstra just to learn the plans of the Redanian Intelligence Service? Everyone in Vergen knows she's not into cock. <laughs> I tell you this. It's her ilk that caused the ruckus on Thanid Island. Think she's any different here? I'm crap at talking, Geralt, but you do all right. So I'd appreciate Soon as Saskia is better, slip a word in her ear to watch out for Philippa. Oh. You know, the whole thing about how Philippa likes women, I was thinking, oh, like, maybe... Maybe Saskia and Philippa are a thing, but sounds like that's not the case. Were you in Rivia when I got caught on that pitchfork? Was I? Fuck, Wolf, I saw you die! I didn't see the little bastard who took you for a haystack, but I swear it looked like you weren't going to make it. So I'm well glad you managed to lick your wounds. I don't know if it taught me anything. Come on, it had to. Not many have survived their own death. You haven't noticed that I'm pissing up wind again, fighting for a cause that isn't mine. No, I haven't. A free upper Aden is in the interests of any decent fellow. Fair enough. Did you fight it, Brenna? Oh, fuck. I know you've got amnesia, but you could have remembered that. Ah, oh, it was a beautiful day. 
On one side, six and forty thousand black ones. On the other, us, the Nordlings together. The Redanians led by De Reuter on the left, the Temerian regiments in the middle, oh. and us on the right. The Mahakam volunteer Redanians army. left? All dwarfs. Even the likes of Kohor must have shit his britches at the sight of us. He hardly lacked courage as I heard it. All right, brave bastard, that's true. Prefer to die than run like a rat. I don't believe I've ever seen a bigger melee, except maybe three years ago here at Vergen. Would have managed that day too, even without the magic. That burning shit that fell through the sky. Why, even the dun banner knelt before us when we brought our battle axes down. Some say not one of the dun banners survived. Any truth to that? Biggerhorn nabbed the survivors as they fled south. But most men of the banner lie in the catacombs, along with a standard. The Dun Banner. What the hell kind of name is that for a unit anyway? It's as if they couldn't get their fucking flag clean. That might be the equivalent of Zivik telling us about the stories. Because later on, when we find the Dun Banner, the Dun Banner standard, we have to answer that quiz again. Oh. Huh. Well, well, thank you for all of that. Is Cecil around here so I can get the rewards, or should I just go talk to Philippa? Oh no, Cecil's right here! In this house? I don't see anybody. Is this Cecil's house? Is that why it's so big? Oh, he's sleeping! We killed most of the necrophages. Most? The passage to the lower level collapsed. They won't get out. In time, they'll die off and you can restart work. Thank you, Witcher. The whole of Vergen thanks you. Here's your coin. Shive, Skags, and Zigrim will get the same. Thank you. I could have sworn that you were there too, but there were so many dwarves. I guess you weren't one of them. Did we have any... <laughs> Were you the guy I'm trying to beat with dice? See you, governor. Just want to check here. Bring it on. Defeat Zoltan's mates at arm wrestling. We might have to go back to the inn for the other guy. We defeated Yarpin, but the other guy left. <laughs> All right. With flickering heart. Do we have to get out of Vergen for this? Probably. So we have the Dwarven Immortel now. Let's go talk to Philippa. I think she's around here too. Where would we go talk to Stennis? Where is he normally? Not quite sure. Man, I'm taking forever on this. I hope Saskia is gonna be okay. Yeah, we're not allowed in, are we? Thorak. Oh. Oh, we have an entry for Thorak. Wasn't this where Saskia is? Or was that another place? Yeah, it must have been. Okay. Philippa's house is right beyond the tunnel. Right here. Whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is it, Witcher? Who is that girl? Cynthia, a leashed sorceress. A charming expression. Do you also use muzzles? Leash means a connection between a sorceress and her assistant. <laughs> An unfortunate term, I admit, but it explains how things are. Cynthia can tap my power, use my spells. She's a conduit. And she's learning along the way. It's convenient and, except for the name, not derisive at all. But you're not here to talk about Cynthia. You know, way to look like an idiot, Geralt. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, so you can get rid of the tattoo here too, but we're okay. We're okay. 
How is it that King Radovid's court sorceress and advisor is supporting rebellion in Edirne? This has grown into more than a simple rebellion, Witcher. Prince Stennis's arrival here confirmed Saskia's right to represent Edirne. Saskia isn't fighting for Edirne, but for the Pontar Valley. Even Prince Stennis considers you rebels. He hasn't moved against you because war with Kedwin hangs by a thread. Why are you here, Sorceress of Tretagore? It is my duty. If Henselt occupies the Pontar Valley, Redania and Temeria will respond strongly. The North will disintegrate, its unity gone. A dark scenario that is nevertheless avoidable, provided Saskia is successful and wins the Valley's independence. Even if she thwarts Henselt, there'll be no independence without agreement from Redania and Temeria. Temeria's expansionist plans melted away with Foltest's death. Redania's ruler is unpredictable, but even he'll have to respect a victory. I'm here to make this victory a fact. You guys might be looking a little bit too micro here though, because the real threat should be Nilfgaard, but you guys are like bickering among yourselves. Aww. So basically, you have like three kingdoms here, and anytime one kingdom tries to get an upper hand, the other two band together to make sure that one doesn't get the upper hand. <laughs> That's basically the gist I'm getting here. It's a very good point that Stennis is not actually fighting for Pontar Valley. That's right. But even he's not saying anything when he sees Saskia. Saskia's running the whole thing here. Is what they say true? Did Saskia kill a dragon? Prince Stennis decorated her for it at the court in Vengerberg, so it appears to be true. If you want to know the details, talk to Biggerhorn. Apparently he witnessed it. Appears to be true, okay. <laughs> Have you heard about a witcher's school? Apparently the viper's their sign. No, why do you ask? <laughs> Liar! The Kingslayer wears a medallion adorned with a viper. Pretentious and childish for my taste. He can't be very smart. You are a liar. You are a liar. A sorceress like you ought to know bundles about the wild hunt. A sorceress's knowledge has nothing to do with superstitions. The hunt's not a superstition. True. The phenomenon seems to exist. I want to know everything there is to know about it. It's strictly atmospheric. It doesn't interest me. Just as whirlwinds, whirlpools and snowfalls do not interest me. We don't have to ask about the tattoo. I found an immortel. Excellent. Okay, thanks. Thanks for saying thanks. Magic. You wanted to discuss oh. something. What was that? Remember the antidote for Saskia. It's very important. Are you circling me? I thought there was like a magical thing here just now. That sound. I'm sorry, is it really late at night right now? I'm just intruding on you. I feel like there's something at the desk. Orins, of course. I'm sorry, Philippa. You wanted to discuss something. I'm just thinking about like that, that sorceress wasn't even learning magic from you. She was giving you a freaking massage. <laughs> I'm looking for Triss. Letho forced her to teleport near Vergen. Letho? Foltest's killer. Perhaps Demavend's too. Will you help me find her? Certainly. We sorceresses must stick together. We have too many enemies. Triss contacted you through Sheila de Tanzerville's megascope while in Flotsam. And I haven't heard from her since. Can you locate her? A megascope responds to a person's aura. If I had something of hers, I could find her. You were close to her. Maybe you have something. No, I don't have anything. Not good. Wait. A local drunkard claims he saw a redhead fall out of the sky. What? This could be a lead. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Philippa? Drunkards say all sorts of nonsense. One claimed his dog was writing poetry. Perhaps they're just drunken delusions. It's possible, however, that an unstable teleport ejected Triss near the town. As it's our only lead, I'll talk to this drunkard. Do you know him? I'm not used to associating with drunkards, but you'll likely find him in the inn. Thank you. Come back as soon as you learn anything. I'll think about it. You wanted to discuss something. You said we'd need a magical object to cure Saskia. Any ideas where I might start looking? Magical items do not grow on trees, as you know. Luckily, this area has a long history. There's the Battle of Wraiths, the site of Sabrina Glevesig's death and suffering, the abandoned mines. 
I was hoping you'd be specific. I won't ask you to traipse around with a divining rod, but please try to be a little inventive. Ask the locals, that's always a good place to start. I dare say Alderman Burden knows every last stone in the area. Maybe you should see him. Fine, Cecil. You wanted to discuss something? Yes, yeah, so please stop going to sleep. Are you standing on the bed right now? <laughs> At the council, you mentioned artifacts were needed to undo the curse. Hmm. But I can't look for them now. I can do that. Why? I have my reasons. Tell me something. What happened here three years ago? Henselt attacked Edern, but met his match. Nobody won that war. Sabrina Glefesig got into a conflict with the Commander-in-Chief of the Kedweni forces, and this led to both armies being rooted. Fireballs turned the battlefield into a flaming tomb. Henselt accused Sabrina of using a forbidden weapon. And Sabrina cursed Henselt? I think so. I suspect the curse got out of hand because of the circumstances. Circumstances? The stars weren't right, wrong phase of the moon? There's always an excuse for simple bungling. She placed the curse while burning at the stake. Her hands and feet nailed to a wagon wheel. I'd say she did a good job, considering. You know what I just remembered? Sabrina Glefesig is also a redhead. So there's like way too many redheads around here. That drunkard, we can't trust him. I mean, we can, obviously, because that's how quests in The Witcher go, but... <laughs> did you notice? Not all the ghosts were aggressive. Yes. Most just disappeared when they touch the aura of a living person. I think the curse corrupts the ghosts of the fallen and turns them into draugers. Is that the witch's professional name for wraiths? Draugers are demons of war. They arise at sites of exceptionally vicious, bloody battles. Their bloodlust and hatred in condensed form. Can you kill them by conventional means? A silver sword is enough for a draugr. But as long as the curse remains active, new ones will arise. The soldiers' ghosts are the key. If I could turn the tide of the battle... For that, you'll need symbols of war belonging to those who fell in battle. Hatred, death, courage, and faith. All artifacts must be magically active and connected to the fallen, or they won't lure the ghosts. Right. I'll look around. Finding two will be enough. Get the symbols of hatred and death and leave the rest to me. I'd prefer courage and faith. Don't fuss. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Cecil seems to know a lot about the area. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go to the, the catacombs. Know anything about blood curses? Do you? We're dealing with a fourth level curse, also known as the curse of the Archmistress. I thought you had amnesia. Well, well, I'm impressed. Thing is, until now I thought it was only a myth that such a curse couldn't be cast. You thought wrong. There are six confirmed cases of this curse being inflicted. What about confirmed cases of it being lifted? One. Achieved by a team of sorcerers led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear, hence the curse's other name. Sabrina Glevesig was on the team. Small world. That's not all. The curse investigated by Francesca and Sabrina was designed to end the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. They were cursed by Scarlet Rodelega, a complete madman, but very talented. An eclipse and wraiths also accompanied his curse. So Sabrina's curse is just a knockoff Rodolega. Exactly. But even as a knockoff, it's clearly very strong. Can Francesca's experience help us? Certainly. I know the symbols and the workings of the curse thanks to her. Care to explain? I'm the one risking my neck. You'll have to relive the battle and change its course at the right moment. I don't know exactly what will happen. Nobody does. Huh. I'll look for those artifacts. Fine. I'm good for now. I'll let you know when I learn something. You may go to sleep. Finally. I'll let you alone for now. So we can go talk to Cecil, which we probably want to do because I think we have multiple things where we're looking for him. Where is Stennis though? Out of curiosity. This should be easy. Talking to him, getting it. Somewhere over here. All right. I don't know where that is. Talk to the dwarf who saw Triss in the inn. In the inn. Harpies. Zoltan's mates. Also in the inn. Probably. Letho's trails. Search for Letho's trails. 
This one seems vague. Death symbolized. Cecil? Cecil. Is Cecil in the inn? We got quite a few things in the inn. Oh, where is that? Guess we'll find out. I feel like there's so many things around here. Um, where is Cecil? That place that he seems to be at? I'm not quite sure where it is. And we gotta talk to townsfolk to find some magical stuff as well. Oh, Cecil! He's he's sleeping in that house. Yes, we just finished talking to him. <laughs> we just talked to him! I'm sorry to disturb your sleep. This is probably not the last time I'll be coming back here. Cecil, do you know anyone who fought in the war three years ago? I did. Did you fight here at Vergen? Of course. Philip claims you know a bit about the battle. That old kook insult, called king by some. Thought that Adernians were bumpkins who'd ship bricks as soon as his troops crossed the river. Why did he attack Edern? According to Hensult, Upper Edern is the ancient legacy of the Kedwenny crown and must be returned to the mother country. Brazen farter. That brazen farter had a point. If you read some history, you'll know that 300 years ago this land belonged to Kedwen. Lord of Crab, 700 years ago the elves reigned here, and a million years ago these lands were the domain of the worms. If things work that way, every king could invade a neighboring land and claim his right to do so because an ancestor took a dump there. All right. Hensel wanted to conquer Upper Edern. What then? He rolled in, got hammered, and rolled out. Cecil, that doesn't help me much. It wasn't a battle. It was a slaughter. If I try speaking of it, I'll see it all again. I don't want... The ghosts of the fallen fight in the mist. They turn into horrible creatures called Draugrs. Edernians, Kedweni, men, elves, and dwarves too. Bloody hell. No peace even after death. I want to help them, but I need to know more about the battle. Very well. Listen, a beautiful day that grew hot later. Very hot. When van der Grift attacked in the afternoon, he sent the Dun Banner at the fore. Many of our lads shit themselves at the mere sight of their standard, but we had a surprise of our own. Under the cover of night, we prepared fire pits. Our archers lit them up at the right moment. I still can't believe we managed to fool their scouts. If it wasn't for that ambush, we wouldn't be speaking today. They likely wouldn't be in Upper Edern at all. We decimated the Dunbanner, but that was only the beginning. Seltkirk was our commander. Everywhere he appeared, the Kedwenis gave ground. He wreaked havoc among them. Hearts rose at the mere sight of his armor. Then... Van de Grift himself entered the fray. Seltkirk met him in the middle of the field. In the end, Van de Grift killed Seltkirk. A terrible death that sent the Adernian ranks into disarray. I thought it was the end of us. Then the sky fell, as if the stars themselves had decided to avenge the death of a great knight. Fire covered the battlefield. Nobody sought the enemy. They were all looking for somewhere to flee. Yes. There were no more friends and enemies, only the living and the dead. They say it was the doing of a Kidwenny sorceress who wanted revenge on Vandergrift. Could be true, as Henseld had her executed right after the battle. That was a long spiel for the, the pop quiz. Which I'm thinking of failing because we've already seen what happens if you don't fail it. Did you see the duel between Seltkirk and Vandergrift? I stood half a furlong from them. Never seen a fight like it. Probably never will again. They'd already met once at a jousting tournament in Ard Craig. Selkirk won there. He beat on the visitor so hard he broke his sword. Selkirk was a true knight, the last of his breed. Van der Grift was so pissed off after that tournament he hanged the smith who made his sword and ordered a special one from a sorcerer. I bet he cut down Selkirk with that new sword. Vandergrift is dead. What happened to his sword? Saskia's got it. Good thing, too. Only her hand can tame the hatred enchanted in that sword. After the battle, when the flames abated, the scavengers came. They stole everything. Imagine. Not a single keepsake or Selkirk in the whole of Edern. His brother babbled something about a gauntlet, but he's a lying dog. 
So even though in the battle, Vandergrift defeated Selkirk, that was more like a... Like the results might have changed depending on the day and their mood because they were so close in ability. It's definitely not that Vandergrift was way better than Selkirk because Selkirk has beat Vandergrift before. Remember anything from before the battle? As if it was yesterday. Hensolt's troops crossed the Pontar the third day after the autumn equinox. Edon had good spies, so we were ready for them, and Selkirk lined up our troops along the hills. Our hearts rose at the sight of the banners of Wengerberg, Aldersberg, and Gullet fluttering in the wind. Knights and armored infantry side by side in our ranks. Even the peasants had their regiments. The dwarves were on the left flank. Over 5,000 strong we were. Nobody caring about race or background, like never before. Only King Demavend was missing, but he must have had more important business than defending his country. You saw the Kidwenis cross the river? From afar. I saw Vandegrift leading 4,000 heavily armed men. Many a heart sank when we saw the elite bearheads or the armored banners from Ad Kareg. The Dun Banner was in the middle, veterans of Brenna. As soon as he set foot on Adernian land, Vandegrift climbed a hill and surveyed the area as if it was his fief. Son of a bitch was as sure of himself as ever. Upon spying him, I remember the dwarves all dropped their trousers and showed him their asses. Then Selkirk stepped out in front of us. His white armor shone in the sun. We were afraid a kid Winnie Arbalis would shoot him, but they too stood as if frozen. And Selkirk just looked at them and bowed ever so slightly. You captured the Dunbanner standard? Hensel's choice troops, and not a one survived. The visitor sent them to their deaths, refused to give them reinforcements. He was a monster in human form. The men of the Dun were real swaggerers. Killed a lot of our lads, but for every Dunner, there were seven Adernians. They had no chance. Aye, we captured their standard. We buried what was left of them in the crypts beyond Vergen. Their standard lies with them. Worthy foes are to be respected, even in death. I'm going to need that standard. Yes, and we know how to get it. Thanks, Cecil. That was helpful. I think I know what I need to lift the curse now. Madam Eilhart claims you need four symbols. The standard symbolizes death. Vandegrift's sword stands for hatred. What about the other two? I have a feeling Philippa has a handle on the rest. Here's hoping you're right. Interesting, because on the other side, we had to get all four of them. But here, Philippa is just gonna get the other two? How? Because Sheila's on the other side? Because one of them is Hensel's medallion, wasn't it? I forget what the fourth one was. The fourth one. Oh, maybe we have to do it later on. Who knows? Who the heck knows? Oh yeah, Selkirk's armor. That's the fourth one. Which is also on the other side, with the... the square coin and whatever. Those people. We got a lot going on. Or uh, was that all we needed to talk to Cecil about? Yeah, go to the catacombs. Search for Letho. Let's go to the inn. And then probably we're gonna have to get out of Vergen a little bit. To go to the catacombs and all sorts of places. Talk to the townsfolk. Yeah, that's, that's one too. 